hanging out here in Oswego on a Friday afternoon. You guys are getting this one later on at night. This was a request from a good friend of mine. Chris has been following the stuff we do for a while. said, man, you got to come out and talk to A.J. Larkin. The 32-year-old just finished his third year in racing, finished ninth in points at the Oswego Speedway, had one top five there, but ended up having a whole bunch of nice runs on the series. Uh, seven top tens last year. Four of them were at Oswego. Uh, he had a couple at Evans Mills and Lancaster. He followed that series that Danny Kay put together, ended up sixth on the series. That was a traveling series. We are in the shop. This is the first of two videos. He actually has all the panels off, so we're going to go front to back on his small block super and give you an idea of how things are going and what it's actually like. First of all, how are we doing today? Good, dog. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me up, man. Seriously. You told me that um, you actually got some work done today because you do some landscaping and plowing, so you probably haven't had a lot to do this year. No, it's you? been a different winter for sure. It was good to get out and do something, but mm -hmm. it's not like it used to be. No, it, it is. And I, I dug some photos out the other day when the snow was up a couple of feet, so uh, yeah. it must make it tough for a guy like you who needs to spend money on a race car in the off season. Yeah, we're, we spend it smart when we can. We try not to buy stuff we don't need and think of what we're going to use through the season and mm -hmm. try not to waste stuff. You got into this late. You started at 29. You're 32 now. What gets a 29-year-old to get started in racing? Because, I mean, that, that is most most people maybe 19 or 20 is late, but 29. Always had the itch and just busy with working and just the opportunity never really presented itself and just kind of always hung around the track and thought maybe someday and mm -hmm. car came up for sale. Buddy said, why don't you buy it? And next thing you know, we had it home in the trailer and... <laughs> Were you working on crews? Did you at least have some experience with what it took? I was helping with Danny K at the time. Well, Steve Flack drove for a year, and mm -hmm. then I helped on Danny K when he started driving. Okay. And then it just kind of transitioned into the this. Is this the same car? Today, this one, the first one that we bought? Yes, this is the same car. Okay. So what was that like when you brought that home? Was it a little more than what you thought, or, or was it was it was, were you ready for it? No, we were. It was kind of, I don't think it was ever going to hit the track. It was really? just one of those things. And we started making the list. It's like, man, it doesn't need that many pieces. And this is mm -hmm. kind of affordable. And we found a used engine cheap. So that mm -hmm. kind of really made it happen. And Was the car together and then you took it apart and reassembled it? Is that kind of what you did? It was almost a roller when I got it. It needed shock, seat, fuel cell. It was missing. But all the big stuff was there. Yeah, the majority of it. It was pretty much a roller. So that helped. I didn't have to buy a rear end. Mm -hmm. or... Did you take it apart to learn how to... To, yeah. to work on it so. yeah we definitely we not so much the first year but we pretty much just put it what needed to be on it and go yeah. so what's it take then is it, it i mean do you have a background as a mechanic or anything like that or are you just a handy guy somewhat handy and if i don't know i ask and pretty good if someone shows me once or twice i can tend to do it again or mm -hmm. most of it and not ask for so much help the next time so if you were thinking you were talking to somebody else maybe who's in your where you were three years ago you would suggest work on a crew first learn a little bit about it before you do it or just jump right in i think so because a lot of people think it's always about the money but it's a lot of time like if you're working a full-time job and trying to do school like it definitely takes time mm -hmm. it's not always about money and you got to be able to put hours in and make sure you're prepared okay car looks like she's pretty close yeah we've made some good progress the last couple of weeks since it came back from powder code and waiting on a few small parts okay, so what was it like all right you got the car you had the mechanical ability, you went through, you finally got it out to the racetrack. What was it like that first night? Oh, it was, yeah. I, it, <laughs> it wasn't good? It, was, it wasn't bad. The first season, we actually went okay. We finished four or five races. We didn't wreck anything. It always mm -hmm. rolled back in the trailer. and But we were down power, so we weren't okay. definitely we weren't going anywhere, but we weren't running last. Mm -hmm. Well, you said you had an older motor. Was it the older motor or the inexperienced driver? I think both. A little bit of both. We were definitely down horsepower on the motor, but me not having experience, it could have helped a little. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think spinning out or... Okay. Okay, so we didn't do any of that stuff. Oh, then. no. The first year, we never put a scratch on it. It we, didn't spin out or anything, No, huh? came back the next year with all the same bumpers, the body hot it, and <laughs> that year was horrible. We hit everything. I don't what was it like first time going down to turn one for that first practice session when they said, green, green, green in your ear? I, I just remember guys go blowing by me. So I, go to, <laughs> I go to hit the gas, and everyone fucking goes right by me like I'm not even there. <laughs> it was that bad, really? Yeah, I think my first couple laps were like 25 seconds. What should they be? What are you guys, low 20s or high teens? High team, I think 18, 18. Six is fast on the night. So you were six, seven seconds off. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> down to a 19 0 now. So, how long did it take? Did you start to get close? Two, three weeks. We practiced a couple fast Fridays. Okay. And, but within a couple of weeks, we were like mid high 19s, 19 9, 19 8. Okay. So, what were you doing better a month in that you weren't doing? Were you not charging the corners? Were you jumping on the gas better? Or what, what were you doing? 
I right. wasn't getting on it as much coming off. You were waiting too long. Yeah, I was waiting okay. to get back to the throttle. Mm -hmm. and I started talking, and people would send me replays offline, and here, watch what you're doing, and talking to some other drivers. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped. And I don't think that people who are in this understand what you were just talking about right there. Because it's not that they necessarily want you to do better, but they want you not to be in the way, so they'll give you help to a certain point. Am I right? No, it's exactly. Yeah, they don't want to see someone all over the place. They know you're going to kind of hold your line when yeah. they come up on you to pass you. And mm -hmm. Just little stuff. To You're running a groove. If you get up a half a groove higher, it'll help you turn. And mm -hmm. just, yeah, because mathematically, if you're seven seconds behind you, behind them, they're going to lap you every three laps. Yeah, so eventually they're going, to, they're going to go, look, man, let, let us look at your car. What, is that kind of the way it went? Yeah, it was the first few weeks were definitely a learning curve, but the first year there wasn't as many cars, so I was able to finish and get track time. They weren't pulling me off and stuff. I'd mm -hmm. stay out. They let me go two, three laps down. Gotcha. So that was, we got some seat time. In. And you get passing flags, right? Yes. Okay. So that, and that for a guy like you is everything, right? Yeah, that does help. Mm -hmm. Get used to looking because most tracks, the flag stands on the right. Of course, I swear it's on the inside. Yeah, so, so it's kind of easy. You come off a of four and you can kind of glance up. But And unlike dirt, the nice thing is that they do have those fast Fridays, so you can go out and get three, four sessions at a pop, right? Yeah, definitely. We took advantage of those a few times over the year. So what do you know now, coming into this season, that you didn't know three years ago? I got a little bit of confidence in the car. I kind of know it's going to stick in some spots and mm -hmm. kind of know what it should do. Before I really had no feedback, I can come in and tell the guys now, hey, this feels a little loose or this don't feel right. Gotcha. Or, just, I think, giving feedback helps some. Mm -hmm. Are your lap times where they need to be? We're close. We got down to a 19-0 this year, so we are we got a few tenths to go. Mm -hmm. So we, it's more of the actual mixing up and knowing when to pass and when to relax for a minute because people think you're you're driving 100% all the time, but that's not the case, is it? No. Well, yeah, it seems like. I don't care, it kind of is. Well, yeah, because if somebody's in, in front of you. In mind, you're in the middle of the pack. You're trying to chase them down, and you're trying not to. Mm -hmm. But chasing them and passing them are two different things. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> I struggle with that one a little bit. Yeah, because sometimes you do have to, all right, wait, wait, wait. He's not He's not giving me an opportunity. Do you have to wait for them, or do you have to shove that nose in there and, and sometimes just take it? I usually wait, and it costs me. I should be probably sticking mm -hmm. in there a little more than yeah. I usually kind of hang back a little and miss the chance I feel. But then you might be fixing the car more too. So that's you know yeah, that too. Is it worth the one more spot? Or it makes you. We've never tore it up too bad. We learned it's okay. all fixable. And mm -hmm. we well, said you got the left front last year, was it, or the right front? I got the left front. Left front. What yeah, happened? that was open practice. I just spun out of kind of my own. And you got the wall. Yeah, I tagged the inside hub rail. Okay, where? Uh, in between three and four. Mm -hmm. I think it was just on the entrance of three. It started to come around and Did you just go in too hard, or was your line wrong? I don't think it was – it might have been going a little too hard soon. I don't think it was quite up to temp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was, track was pretty oh, really? green. Tires were still a little cool maybe. Yeah, I think I got into it a little too much. Well, how long does it take? Two, three – it's all preference. Some guys will go out after one lap on them. I like to get a little heat in them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's reinsurance or if it helps them. Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, some guys were saying this year the track was a little looser because they said some of the, the sand for maybe dirt week and stuff kind of – did you notice any difference in the track? This past season? I didn't. The one night was pretty bad for Fast Friday. I think was that they, early? Yeah, it was early in the year. I think they swapped it and a bunch of dirt came up. Yeah, I heard they had a sweeper that worked a little too well. But I wasn't. <laughs> I've always, yeah, I never had too much issue with that. Okay. This so what, what's the plans? Travel again this year? Yep, we're going to try to definitely support Danny series as much as we can. We're going to run Swiggle full-time. Okay. Or as much as we can. Mm -hmm. We don't see anything stopping us work-wise. Or... Mm -hmm. Maybe top five in the points this year, possibly? Maybe better than fifth? Maybe we're hoping. We were third? up to seventh last year, and then we had one bad night. And That's all it takes. It's, yeah, <laughs> we were up to seventh or sixth. We were doing okay. All right. Uh, less than a minute. Anybody you want to say thanks to? Yeah, I got to thank my guys, my brother, Mikey, Chris, for coming on board this year. He's real good with the help me with the PR stuff and getting me some sponsors. I got to thank sponsors, too. Munsky Auto, Hedger, Ray Hedger for building a great race car. Um, Enright Roofing, Larkin Mowen, Terrell's Appliance came on board this year, Cam's Pizzeria. Um, Lots of good folks that uh, you couldn't do this without. No, definitely so. a lot of great people behind us. Leave a comment, guys. If there's somebody like AJ here you want me to get to, Chris sent me a message. That's how this came about. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and hit that like button, too. Good to have, Thanks for having me out, man. And uh, please keep me posted when you get that first heat win or the first uh, feature win. You make sure you give me a call. Sounds good. Thanks, Doug.